Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm super excited about this one because as I told you in a previous video, um, the only Dollar Tree hauls that I try to bring to you are of new items that I found in my stores and that I have not seen um, as of yet in hauls here on YouTube. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, my Dollar Tree stores are putting out their fall items, especially the fall floral and a few pumpkins and things like that. And the stores that I went into yesterday, they actually have, uh, or they had the carts with the boxes of fall items and stuff and they were putting them out while I was there. So I got to go back and see what they got in. And from the pictures on the boxes, it was stuff that they've had before, um, you know, in past years or whatever, but this fall floral, honey that I found yesterday I'm super excited about. Okay, let me show you what I found. Dollar Tree is stepping up their game when it comes to, um, you know, florals and things like that. I guess they're trying to compete with the craft stores, you know, like Michaels and AC Moore and all these places like that. But, honey, I am not mad at them because look at these floral stems, okay? It's faux cotton, obviously, you know, it's Dollar Tree's version of cotton, but it is so pretty. Do you see that? It's got the pine cones and everything, and it's just called cotton, but it is really cute. And for a dollar, if you're on a budget and you're trying to decorate for like the fall season, or if you have a wedding or something in the fall, this is like really nice. And you could come up with some really nice um, arrangements and crafts and stuff with these, but they have um, several different versions. They have this one that has, um, Honey, I don't know what this is. I want to say it's cattails, but then I thought these were. But anyway, they're really cute. So they have this one. And then they have this one with the orange um, little, whatchamacallit, <laughs> on there. And then they have this one that has the yellow um, little stems on it or whatever you want to call those. They have that one. And then they have this one with the brown um, stems as well. So they have several versions. Let me get them all up here so you can see them. So let me make sure that was all of those. I got two of each that they had. And I actually bought all that I saw, to be honest with you. Um, you know, all that they had on the display or whatever. But yeah, you get four different um styles of cotton flowers that is beautiful I mean for Dollar Tree flowers this is like gorgeous so I got those move those out of the way and then I saw these now I don't know if they had these in previous years but I don't remember seeing them but these are called sunflowers but they have the pine cones for the center so I don't know if you could see that there we go but these are actually little pine cones for the center of the flower. So these are cute too. And when I try to, uh, when I go to Dollar Tree and I get florals, I always try to get the ones that look the most realistic because some of their flowers do look cheap <laughs> and crappy. But I always try to get the ones that look the most realistic because you could blend and mix and match with other items and then make a stunning display or arrangement. Okay, they also got in some picks. Last year, I want to say some people were saying that they found picks. My store didn't have any or either I missed them or whatever. So I found the mother load of floral picks. And you know, if you go to like, um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels, their picks can be a little bit pricey unless you catch them when they have them like 40 or 50% off. But I grabbed um, a bunch from Dollar Tree and I may um, go to, you know, the craft stores and pick up some, you know, other ones, but these are pretty good. So I have them all separated. So I'm gonna show them to you, um, I guess individually. Okay, so this one, well, they're just called fall picks. Okay, so this one has the little twigs and the pine cones with the pretty little flower and the leaves. And it's really, really cute. So I got two of those. And then, let me move this stuff out of the way. I got, make sure I got both of them together. Hold on. 
thought I got two of these. Okay, well anyway, I got this one right here and it has the little, I don't know what that is, but it has a little berry sprig on it. Let me see if you can see this, that leaf out of the way. But it has a pretty little berry sprig on it with this pretty flower. And I wanna say that's a dahlia. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But that one's pretty. And then I got this one that has the leaves and the pine cones and some little berries on it. Really cute. I had two of those. Then this one with the um, acorn and the corn husk on it with the berries. These are cute. And then I got these sunflowers, if I could find the other one. Well, I guess I didn't, I only got one of those, so I guess it'll be paired up with that other one. But I got the orange sunflower and the berry sprig. So cute. And then I got this one with the green squash and berries. So nice. And then this one with the wheat and the pumpkins. And finally, the yellow sunflowers and the berries. So these are really nice picks for a dollar. And you can use picks for just about anything. You can like tuck them into shelves between books, you know, um, between like in your bathroom if you wanted to bring a little sparkle or sparkle, bring a little fall decor to your bathroom. You can kind of like tuck them in your, your um, towels or your towel basket or whatever. Really, really nice. And like with the um, acorns, you can, even though they look a little plasticky, you can take a Sharpie or something and kind of add some embellishment to it to make them look even more realistic. Maybe add a little glitter or something if you wanted some sparkle. So you can always, always dress things up a little better from Dollar Tree. Okay, then I also found these candle plates. Now the candle plates that I usually find um, are the ones with the ridges or the bumps on it, but I never saw the clear ones. These are the ones that are just plain old clear. So I got these, I got two of these because I wanted to try a DIY that I saw um, on, um, Gosh, what's her name? The Magnolia Housewives channel. I love her channel. I was binge watching it all weekend. She has some really, really cute ideas. So I saw one of her um, DIYs from Dollar Tree and I said I wanted to try it out. So I found those candle plates um, to try that out. Then I was really excited to see this. Um, I don't know if this is a part of the school, um, back to school items or whatever, but it wasn't with the back to school, but I've never seen these before. And I only saw it in one Dollar Tree. And it was, this happened to be out of state um, or that particular store. So I don't know, but I found some paint pens and they're by Jot. So I got all the ones that I saw um, and they look like this. And I can't wait to try these out to see how they work. So I'll come back with a little review of these because I actually have some Sharpie paint pens and another uh, brand that I got from Michaels, I want to believe, say, or it may have been Hobby Lobby, one of them. But anyway, I'm going to do a little comparison and see how well they work. Um, and if you see these, you know, you may want to pick these up. But I got all the colors that that particular store had. So we'll see how they work. So... Really glad to see those in Dollar Tree. Okay. All right. Then I picked up some stickers that I have never seen in Dollar Tree before. Um, and I don't know if it was like some random stuff or whatever, but they were really cute. And they're actually Christmas. Um, well, they're not so much stickers. I guess they're more like the peel, you know, like the the word signs and stuff that you can put on your wall, wall decor, whatever, but they're so tiny. I think I would use these as stickers, but they look like this and it's, you know, holiday themed and you have different scenes on here and you have like people with gifts and, um, you know, Christmas embellishments and things like that. And it says how many days till Christmas, um, 
not many days left shop till you drop and tis the season to or tis the season for giving so these are really nice and i like these it's a you know it's almost like a hallmark kind of um scene or whatever so you get two sides to it so i thought this was really cute for a dollar so i can't wait to use these uh, maybe in my planner for um the holiday season so i got two of those and then i found these right here and it's called miss elizabeth's um yes yeah, by miss elizabeth's and it this one's called the christmas shoppers so it has a name, the Christmas Shoppers, and this one's called Snowflakes, and these are pearlescent stickers, and by it's by Miss Elizabeth as well. So, oops, I'm gonna get the glare, but they're just little um, snowflakes, and it has a little iridescent look to them. So I grabbed those, and these were the this was the only one that I found, and then these were the only two of these that I saw in that store so I grabbed those and I have seen this on um, a couple of channels these mirror stickers um, I wish they had come out with well I'm pretty sure they may <laughs> but I wish they had more words um, you know other than I think it was love dream and was it something else I know they had the feathers and the arrows or whatever so I got the dream because I think this will work really great in my deeper space because I have that sort of old Hollywood glam theme and I can kind of stick that on the wall but I wanted something that said believe um in this size because they had the bigger ones at one point they were a little longer and I wanted one a little smaller but maybe they will closer to the holidays all right I also found um some of these um list pads that goes in your planner or whatever and this was with the school supplies um this one is let's do this and it has errands chores appointments and miscellaneous and as you can see it's a list planner for your i mean uh, yeah you put it in your planner basically and this one is an internet password one so it has a website the url username and password again for a dollar because these wouldn't be they probably be like five bucks 5.99 in michaels or somewhere so to get these in dollar tree i'm just waiting for them to get like a really nice planner um in there because they had a sign that said the binders can be found in the binder section um when i saw those so i guess you can create your own planner which is fine um but i'm waiting on them to do that because i think they're jumping on the bandwagon with everybody else then i found some self-adhesive stencils that i hadn't seen before so i got this one it has the feathers and then this cute little almost like a little snowflake pattern um on it so i grabbed that one and then this one is just a full page um stencil which is really nice and i like the fact that these are self-adhesive so these can be used for all kinds of craft products okay and then i haven't seen this um i saw the black tape this is the this is called double-sided art tape so i'm going to try this out and see how it works and it says that it's i want to say yeah permanent it's clear once you you know peel it off and apply it so I'm gonna see how well this works too. Cause sometimes you don't wanna use like a liquid adhesive or glue or something and it may come in handy. Okay. And then I found these um, tea light candles. Um, they're waterproof and then it comes with the little bling. I think I saw this, I did see this on somebody's channel. Um, Cause I was, like I said, I was binge watching youtube videos all weekend but it has a little bling blingy diamonds or whatever so i got these and um it has the i want to say did it say color change? yeah it has the color changing um waterproof yeah waterproof <laughs> um led light in there so i got two of those and then i found some nice ribbon now the ribbon you know dollar tree has all kinds of ribbon and usually when you get like the satin ribbon, it's like see-through, it's, you know, really thin or whatever. And so I was like, nah, I don't wanna get it. So they had some fall colors. And so being me, I kinda opened up one of the packages to actually see if it was the same type of ribbon where you could see through it, but it's not. 
It is solid ribbon. Now I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree before because that's why I usually pass up on it. I'll go to like Walmart or the hobby, I mean the craft store or something. But I like this. This is really nice ribbon. Um, that's not that see-through stuff. And I'm really liking it. So I got the nice fall colors. I'm trying to roll it back up so I could um put it back. Okay, so I got the two browns or that pretty and it's got a little sheen to it and then I got the gold color which looks like that and then they had a champagne color which was a tad bit lighter than this one I passed on it I wish they had like the coppery orange color but they didn't have it but I'm gonna make these work and then I picked up some of this um sisal or I guess you can call it that um ribbon which looks like this gosh if you can see it but it's basically a little cord you know ribbon and then I picked up the of course the burlap ribbon that they get in for the season they have the pretty little berry red and the brown they have the orange which I mean you've seen this before so I grabbed that okay then I found because uh, I've been looking for these. My store didn't have these. And I saw this on um, the Boss Lady's channel. Um, hey, Sharon. <laughs> she found the pineapple um, little wristlets. So I finally found them um, because I actually got the bag. And I wanted to get the matching um, wristlet to go along with it. And I got the scarf. So, yes, I found them. So I got two. And then I found the lanyard that actually matches which looks like this. And here, let me take it off the cord. The lanyard is really cute. And the reason why I got it, because I don't need a lanyard, per se, in its, you know, for the use that it's intended. But I thought about using it to make a little strap to go on here um, to make it longer so you can do it as a crossbody or even adding that to the pineapple bag itself that goes along with this. So once I figured that out, I'll bring that to you because that was my intention of getting it. And I got the one with the anchors because I actually got the bag that matches this too and the wristlet as well. So that's great for like vacationing or just, you know, going shopping or whatever. So I grabbed those. Okay, getting down to the wire here. I found these, um, wicker or wicker willow wreaths and they had two sizes my store always got the tiny ones they never got the big ones so now they're getting in different sizes of these wreath forms and stuff so i got two of the big ones and i want to say these are 12 inches yeah they got to be 12 because the wire the bigger wire ones are 14. and then this one is the smaller version so as you can see so i got two of those for a couple of um diys so i'm liking that dollar tree you keep it up honey so i don't have to go to hobby lobby or michael's to buy anything um you know like that okay oh here let me show you this one first and then we'll get to that. Okay, in the teacher supply or school supply aisle, I found these um, rubbing plates. Now, if you're my age, you may remember like the fashion plates where you would use a pencil or crayon to rub the image onto a paper and then color it. Well, this reminds me of that. And they had these leaves, okay. And then they have the fall leaves. So it's three in here. So you get three different versions of leaves. You get the maple, where is it? And I just saw it, the maple, the oak leaf, and then these right here in the front. So of course, fall decorating, fall crafts. They only had this one particular style. Well, they had different, they had other rub-on packs with three plates in it, but they only had this one with the leaves or whatever, because I was looking for more styles or more designs. So super excited to see that. But that again was in the um, teacher supply area um, of the store. Okay, I found some awesome books, y'all. You know, I am a cookbook junkie as well as a book junkie. And I was so excited to see a Gooseberry Patch book. I collect these Gooseberry Patch. I love, love, love these books. Well, this one is Gifts from the Kitchen. So it's just 
um, recipes that you can make and give as gifts. And so these books are not cheap by any means because I've actually bought them like fresh out of the bookstore. Um, but to see a Gooseberry Patch book in the Dollar Tree it was like, yes. So I'm going to be on the lookout for more of these. Um, but it has some really awesome recipes and stuff. And anytime you see these, pick these up, especially like um, in Dollar Tree and thrift stores, whatever. They have some great resources and recipes and things like that, along with crafting and packaging. I mean, it's a really, really um, nice um, series of books. Okay, then I picked up this one called Family Feasts for $75 a week and it, include, it includes 200 recipes. So I'm interested in trying this out. Um, I'm gonna see. Well, I'll come back in a different video and we'll kind of try to review this and see how it works. So I got that. And then I got another one of these because I wasn't sure if I had it, but I did. So I'll probably put this in a giveaway or something. But it has the slow cooker desserts. Or it is a slow cooker dessert, so I grabbed that. And then I picked up this one, which is 210 minute meals. And I'm all about quickness, honey, especially cooking for one. This one was regularly $7.99 in the bookstore, so I got this. And of course, you get, I like it with the pictures. <laughs> So for two, I mean, for a dollar, you get 210 minute recipes. I thought that was worth trying. And then the last one is this Cake Pops um, book. You get tips, tricks, and recipes for more than 40 irresistible mini treats. So I thought this was like really cute um, to have for my cookbook collection because I actually have a Cake Pop maker. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that. So that is it for the books. And I think that's all the new stuff that I got. Yeah, the rest of this stuff's like you've seen it before and there's no need of me showing it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, look forward to seeing some DIYs with some of this stuff that I actually picked up. But run to Dollar Tree, especially now that they're getting their fall stuff in because you know, once they get it, they're not getting any more. So you need to get it while you see it um, because once they put that on the shelf, then the next thing you're going to see is Halloween and Christmas. So go get it, especially that cotton. Oh my gosh, this stuff is like really, really cute. And they're selling this stuff for like an arm and a leg in, um, you know, the craft stores, you know, so run get this. So yeah, so I guess it's going to do it. So until my next video, I will see y'all then. Bye.